right. Hey, everyone. Lindsay, and I'm talking with Jason, and we're talking about Hawken. Please tell us what is exciting about this game. Oh, Hawken. Well, we're so excited about it. It's really great to be at PAX, actually. Um, our big date, you know, still is 12, 12, 12. That's coming up fast. And PAX is like the first time, or it's really like, it's the first time a lot of the public can really have a chance to play. I mean, we've been at E3. We had a small little group at PAX East. But, uh, um, but heck, this is who we're making the game for, and for them to have a chance to come and, and check it out uh, just a few months before we uh, before we launch, that's a really big deal to it. Are you excited? Very excited. It's an alpha, right? Uh, we're actually a little pre-alpha right now. We're getting really close, but our but our beta data is, is right up there. So uh, we're also encouraging people who are checking the game out to go to the website. They can uh, register for a chance to get into our closed beta, which is actually going to be coming up soon. And what makes your game so unique? It's, it's obviously very stylized, but what about what else about it is like really packs a punch? Can you tell us? Well, you mentioned the style, right? Like it's that's one of the things that captures people's attention. Like they 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 get it, they see it, they're drawn into it, and and that's going to encourage people, I think, to want to give it a shot. But I think once they once they get in and once they actually start playing the game, once they start feeling the pace of it, once they start having some matches and they go through the customization, they're going to see that there's a lot more to it than, than just that visual world. And uh, that visual aspect, like that's the hook, but the gameplay and everything else that's attached to it, it's going to keep them playing. And somebody mentioned something about hardware being completely unique to the game, like there's a there's keyboard that looks kind of like it was made specifically for your game, is that? What we have, what we showed off at E3 was uh, was a, a peripheral. Um, I don't know, everyone remembers like that that giant, amazing controller from like Steel Battalion, the original Xbox, right? Um, a lot of that that brought that memory back for a lot of people. So uh, I mean, we have that as an option. You know, we just want a really immersive experience, and who doesn't love cool peripherals that just look awesome and take you back into that world? So uh, yeah, hopefully people like that stuff too. And I heard a rumor about something about um, a head key, like a headgear or um, like a 3D glasses? Right, so uh, so Oculus, the guys that are doing the, the VR headset, right? Um, we've been in talks with them and it's and it's pretty exciting about what uh, what is what the potential is for that technology, right? I think everyone sort of had that dream even like years and years and years back in the 90s of what virtual reality could be like and, and I think they're taking some real steps in the, you know, some really big steps in the right direction of sort of making that a reality. So if we can be there to, uh, you know, to help support that and to drive that interest and maybe turn some of those dreams into reality, then we're, we're happy to, to, you know, to see what we can do and, and make it uh, an immersive experience. What's been the audience reaction to the game so far? <laughs> People have been waiting. Uh, people have been waiting a long time to. I mean, we have a line for people to play here. Uh, the people that I just talked to, just even on the street, on the forums, everyone is genuinely excited about it. Um, and they always have, you know, they have feedback. They have thoughts. What they liked, what they didn't. I always encourage everyone, like, come and talk to us about what you're liking about the game, what you're not. Just let us know how you feel. Um, because we're making this game for you know for people to have a good time with, so so we want that feedback, and that's also why we're really pushing uh, people to get involved in the beta because we want people to have fun with it and let us know what they think. And have you found any bugs so far testing it out here? Yeah, other than the wrong people keep winning. Uh, there's, there seems to be a lot of a lot of issues with that. No, but other than that. Uh, um, <laughs> Because they're just because uh, they're, they're they're people that are too good already. How can they be that good and playing it for the first time? That's not right. Um, but no, it's been really clean because we've been uh, we've been really proud with uh, with where the game has been for a while, and uh, we've been just working on polishing and polishing and polishing. And I think what what is here out on the floor is really really solid, and uh, it's not even representative of the final product. So when people get it at home, it's going to look totally different. Um, a lot of the aspects to it. Full customization is going to be in there. Like it's, it's just going to be even a, a few steps even above what people are getting used to. I think they're really going to love it. And what platforms is it available for? PC. PC. PC only. only. We are, uh, yeah, free to play on PC. First person mech shooter. December twelfth. That's our big data beta date. Awesome, Jason. Thank you so much for talking with us. This is fantastic. I'm so looking forward to this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Touch the mech. I love it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay.